I would love to ask a person, tell me why you did this again? Right. It's been three days since a 14-year-old boy was killed in New Orleans East. Tonight, his parents still don't know why or who shot their son. Good evening to you. I'm Paul Dudley. Sharice and Katie have the night off. Jameer Alfred was shot and killed while running an errand with his family at Walgreens Christmas night. It happened on Bullard and Lake Forest Avenue. Police say someone drove up and began shooting, killing Jameer. This afternoon, Jameer's parents sat down with our own Erica Ferrando, begging one for anyone with any information to come forward. Here's Erica. A caring person. Uh, that was first and foremost for him. He uh, wanted to save the world and wanted to bring peace to the world. Larisha and John Alfred are heartbroken, confused, and still struggling to accept that their 14-year-old son is gone. He always would ask why would people do bad things to hurt other people. They sit near a table with some of his most precious belongings, his glasses and his football jersey, which he wore just a week ago when his team won their championship. Life for the party, like to dance, um, football, band, um, just caring, you know, loving type of smart kid. They share stories about their son, like the time he gave a teammate without cleats a pair of his own. He finally told me uh, one of the guys didn't have cleats, and he like one of our, you know, good players, and we need him to play, and I, I let him use my cleats. That's Jamil. They share this, hoping someone will come forward to tell them why his life was cut short. Never thought we would be here. Yeah. Mm. Christmas night, Jameer Alford came to the Walgreens on Bullard Avenue in New Orleans East with a few family members. But the quick errand turned tragic when police say someone drove by and began shooting. Jameer did not survive. And as of now, police have not released a possible suspect or a motive. You don't go from being a great kid to being murdered in any walk of life. Um, but this is what has happened. His parents, Love friends, us. classmates, Love and that. city leaders held a prayer vigil at the Love same the spot Sunday evening. Love you, Jamil. To celebrate Jamir's life and pray for someone to come forward with answers. Not only the answers to his case, but overall the city, the crime in the city of New Orleans overall. There are too many parents hurt. Answers won't bring Jameer back. But at least we'll know. But it will help them move forward. An ending to it. And they pray their tragedy could be a turning point for the city. Hopefully, the good that comes out of it is that the community can come together yeah. and stand up and say, enough is enough. Erica Ferrando, Eyewitness News. Such a tragic story there. If you do have any information, please call Crime Stoppers.